Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. This is Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven signs. God's calling you to step out in faith. Uh, this video was inspired. I was in Mexico a couple days ago, and I met a brother out there who's like, oh, I saw your videos. And he told me that he was from the States, and he actually moved to Mexico. And he's out there living there. He got a business started. So that inspired me to make this. A lot of courage to actually step out in faith. And even for my testimony, too, I'm going to share in the middle of this video uh, how I stepped out in faith and how me doing that was probably one of the best things I ever did in my life, like seriously. So let's get, let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one sign, God is asking you to step out in faith or it could be calling you to, not just asking, calling you to step out in faith. So number one will be, you feel in your spirit that God has prepared you for this task, okay? I'm gonna be sharing my testimony throughout this video. So you, you'll feel in your spirit that God is, is calling you or so God has prepared you to step on this task. So for me, um, I felt in my spirit that I was just called to teach. I was called to share the word with people, the word of God with people. And I just felt bold, bro. Like I, 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 I wasn't afraid. Like I wasn't afraid to tell people, you know, a lot of people guys are afraid to, you know, to share the gospel with people. Even the Bible says, and I think it's in Mark, I'll leave a verse right here in Mark chapter eight, verse 38 or 36. It says that if, if whoever shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, shall him, the son of man, be afraid when he comes back or shall be ashamed of those who are afraid to share the gospel, who are afraid to be bold and, you know, confess that Jesus is Lord, confess that they believe, you know, they have faith in God because this generation, guys, they call in good evil and evil good. So that's, that's just the time we're, the time we're living in. OK, so you're going to feel prepared in your spirit that God has prepared you for this task. Like you, I was just bold, bro. Like I was not afraid. And there was a time period before where I would be like, oh, they're not going to want to hear uh, or they're going to laugh at me, make fun of me, scoff, troll, mock, whatever. Right. But now you just don't care. Like I, I felt like I was prepared that God has called me to do this. And, you know, that's one thing, guys, you'll feel in your spirit when God's calling you to step on in faith is that you will feel like you're prepared, that you already have God has equipped you with the tools, whatever that is. It's not... For me, it was teaching, but for other people, it could be anything else, okay? So you'll just feel prepared, like you're just ready. You're like, you're gonna feel bold, okay? So that's the number one sign, guys. Number two is you have spent seasons seeking, asking, staying in the spirit and, and uh, praying for new opportunities, okay? And when I say, I didn't have enough room in the whiteboard, but seeking, you know, you're seeking the kingdom of God, you're, you're seeking to build up your spirit, okay? And I could definitely attest to this. Um, I remember I, ma I made sure before I even got on YouTube, I made sure I read the Bible like from front to back. Like I was spending a lot of times like preparing myself, which, you know, goes to number one. But, you know, praying for opportunities, praying for, you know, doing things the righteous way, pretty much. And uh, I could definitely attest to for me, I was isolated for about almost a year. Uh, and that was probably in see even in that isolation period, that short time. One year is really not a long time, but in that short period of time. I definitely felt like I was suffering. I was suffering in the flesh. I was suffering. I was suffering. But I knew that my spirit was growing and my spirit was elevating. It's like even the Bible says that he must in, uh, he must increase, but I must decrease. That's really what it's about. You know, you're decreasing your own desires in life. Uh, you, you're not falling into the snares of willful sinning, uh, just being disobedient. Like I felt like that was vanishing away and my spirit was being renewed, you know, putting on the new man. Okay, so I definitely felt that. I spent seasons on out. Now, it could be longer for some people. It could be shorter for other people. But for me, it was about like around like a year. Okay, number three. And stepping out on faith. Uh, so God, God's calling you to step out on faith when it's linked to God's will in your life. Okay, so when it's linked to God's will in your life, you definitely want to step out on faith. Like, there was a time, guys, where there was a lot of videos I wanted to make way before I even had a YouTube channel. But, like, I wasn't really... I wasn't really trying to tell people about, like the video I made on my uh, mental hospital story. The, um, I was sent to the mental hospital twenty times. I leave at the end screen. So those type of videos, I didn't want to. I was I was afraid to tell people like, oh, they might look at me different and stuff like that. But all this type of stuff, that testimony, guys, it could touch someone's heart. Someone could be going through that, what I was going through, and now they'll have the wisdom, they'll have the knowledge, and understand that everything happens for a reason and it's for a greater good. Okay, so many. Not, I think that video got like. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I got a lot of views. So I'm pretty sure at least a couple people planted the seed in people. So let's say if they're struggling with mental health issues, they could see the real root and reason behind it. And they can, you know, get their spirit right, you know, start being obedient to God, uh, maybe start fasting and praying, doing whatever they can to do to fight any addictions they have in their life or to better their mental health. Okay. So um, definitely guys, when it's, when it's linked to God's will in your life, you want to step out on faith. Absolutely. 
Okay, absolutely. Number four is when you have nothing to lose but everything to gain, this is a sign to keep on pushing through. This is a sign to keep on preserving, keep on moving forward, okay? So let me repeat this. When you have nothing to lose but everything to gain, so it goes in with me when I was, um, before I started my YouTube channel, like, I felt like I had nothing to lose. Like, if people were to laugh at me, I already gave my life to Christ, so I already lost everything. You know, I already, so it's like, what, what else is there to lose? So I, I was bold. Sorry, I, I'll never forget this, bro. I was in my car, bro, just making videos, pushing out content. Um, you know, I could, I lost all my friends. I was telling them, you know, why I'm no longer, you know, doing this, doing that, going here, going there. And they were just like, they, like, they didn't want to be my friend no more. They didn't want to hit me up no more. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna make YouTube videos and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make friends on the internet. <laughs> That's really how it was. I'm gonna make friends on the internet. They don't want to hear me. I'm pretty sure someone in Wyoming, <laughs> someone in Wyoming, someone in Florida, someone in New York, someone in Texas. Okay. Uh, someone in Arizona is going to hear me. Okay. If they don't want to hear me, I'm pretty sure someone out there is going to hear me. So that was just my mindset, guys. Like I had nothing to lose at that point. And, you know, that's why the Bible says that, um, it says that uh, he who loses his life will find it. And he who tries to save his life will lose it. Like I lost my life. And how, when I lost my life, I lost all my friends, lost all this material possession, right? I actually found my life. Now I understand the Bible verse, guys. I think it's in um, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 to 25, okay? He who loses his life will find it, will save it, okay? Number five is when you no longer feel, oh, yes, yes, guys, this is a good one. When you no longer feel uh, feel doubt, worry, con or any type of confusion, or you, you no longer have that lack of faith, the lack of belief, that's a sign, bro. Yes, that is a sign from God to step on faith. When you no longer have the doubt, you're no longer worrying, you no longer uh, have, you know, fear, you know, lack of faith. You no longer have fear. You no longer have, you know, you're no longer battling confusion. God has gave you multiple confirmations. God has gave you multiple signs. God has spoke through people. God has gave you dreams. God has gave you so many visions. He, he has let you know. He has used uh, people, okay, to tell you. And, you know, and when that happens, the more confirmations, the, the more, you know, signs, the, the less the doubt, the less the worry, the less the confusion. Yes. Okay. The, the, uh, the, la the less of fear. You put that less of fear. Okay. And like I said, guys, when you activate faith, there's no such thing as fear. Let me repeat this, man. When you have faith, the Bible says that um, whoever, is, um, whoever fears is not made perfect in love. Okay, I'll leave a verse right here. Whoever fears is not made perfect in love. Okay, so when you got true faith, there's no such thing as fear. You got to put that away. Okay, and now I know there's going to be some people watching this video. And before you take before you take that uh, step of faith, make sure you, you have you have prayed. Like I said, I spent seasons of isolation before I take out a big, uh, big step. Okay, I was praying. I was seeking God's kingdom. Okay, I was asking. I was I was seeking. I was asking. I was staying in the spirit. So it took me. It, I was got and see it in that type of in that short period of time. It was just a year. I was just being prepared. I was to be prepared for what God had for me. Okay. So number six is yes. This is a good one too. It says it requires obedience, surrender, and to put your full trust in Him and to be patient. I, I feel like it's very important for me to highlight to be patient because a lot of people. Um, they, they, when they pray, you know, God, please bless me with this. And they expected it for it to come the next day, the next week, the next month. No guys, sometimes you can, you got you pray and ask God. It could take years. It could take months. Okay. Cause the reason why that happens, cause you're not ready for whatever you're praying for. Okay. And God knows that. So he knows that if he, if he does give it to you, you're not gonna be able to cherish it. You're not gonna be able to, to feel like it's a blessing because you weren't prepared. So always make sure you're patient. Okay. And if, and if the will of God, right, if the, uh, it requires you to step on in faith, you know, if it requires obedience, so me preaching, I got to be obedient, right? It also required me surrendering, okay? So this is a clear sign that me stepping on faith was that. And these are all signs that I went through, guys. These are all everything that I went through. It all required, you know, me to be obedient. It required me to surrender, okay? It required me to be patient. It required me to put my full trust in him, the full trust in the most high, man. Absolutely, man. So, yeah, number seven. Number seven is an opportunity continue present uh presence itself in your life okay so you'll understand that an opportunity whatever it may be because god has different plans than everyone else we don't all have the same plan not everyone's called to do this not everyone's called to travel to mexico to start a business 
Not everyone's called to do this and that, right? So, but whatever opportunity that, let's say that you've been seeking, that you've been asking, that you're willing to do, that you love to do, okay? If, it, if, that, cont if that continues popping up through other people, or whatever the case may be, right? That could be a clear sign from God that is, he's asking to step on in faith. He's, or he's, like I said, he could be asking or he's calling you, okay? Or he's calling you to step on in faith, man. So these are the seven signs. Whoa, God is asking to step on in faith. Number one, he's feeling in your spirit. That God has prepared you for this task. Yes, man. Number two is you have spent seasons seeking, asking, and staying in the spirit and praying for new opportunities. Number three is stepping on in faith when it is God's will in your life. Number four is when you have nothing to lose but everything to gain, this is a sign to push through. Number five is when you no longer feel doubt, worry, confusion, lack of faith, belief, and less fear. Uh, less of fear. Or actually, I should have put no fear. No fear. Number six is it requires obedience, surrender, and to put your full trust in him and to be patient. Number seven is an opportunity continu continuously presents itself in your life, okay? These are some Bible verses that talk about faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Ro uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you have already, make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.